Jason Couch was born into a bowling family. The son of a bowling center owner, it was always clear that his parents would be there to support him. But never more clear than when he was ready to call it quits two weeks into his pro career. Call my parents collect, of course. You know, I'm out there scraping and I uh, talked to my dad and I said, hey, send me a ticket home or to go home. I, I just, I don't want to be out here. I'm not good enough. And he's like, well, I'll do that, but uh, talk to your mom. You know, you need to talk to your mom for a minute. And uh, she said, uh, oh, you're quitting after two weeks, are you? And I said, yeah. I said, I've had enough. These guys are really good and, and I can't compete. And she said, well, that's fine. You're going to get a job when you get home. You're going to move out of our house and you're going to have all your clothes on the lawn if you're just going to quit after two weeks. And then I said, okay, well, I'll call you from Sacramento next week. Click. And just, you know, kept grinding. And the next week I go to, I get sixth. And then the following week we go to uh, Dallas, Texas, and I make my first TV show. So if it wasn't for mom, I don't think I'd be out there and have a career. Jason's fortunes immediately turned around. Enough for him to make two TV shows and be named 1992 PBA Rookie of the Year. When my peers voted me Rookie of the Year, I just, I couldn't believe it, you know. That means that I belong, you know, when your peers vote for you, you know that that's definitely where you want to be, and it's, it's been an unbelievable ride since. That ride really took off in 1993. Jason picked up his first win, and then at the Touring Players Championship, his first major. Top seed looking to grab himself a title. Oh, what a beautiful shot by Jason Couch. Great point in my life and a hard point in my life because I bowled Parker in the title. We're rooming together. We're staying actually at the owner's house. And uh, so who's he going to pull for, right? And uh, Parker hadn't had a major yet. And it was, I was obviously bowling for my first major. So it was tough to, to, to beat Parker for my first major. But unbelievable moment in my life. It would be six years before that next major moment, but it was well worth the wait. Jason took home the trophy at the 1999 Tournament of Champions, a second major and one all that much sweeter knowing how tough they are to come by. It's so hard to win out there to begin with. So you relish every second you can in those majors. And uh, you know, you go out there hoping you win just any regular title, let alone a major, but you really have to soak it in when, when you work hard week in and week out to win those majors. Jason won the Tournament of Champions again the next season. Then, after the event took a one-year hiatus, Jason Couch made it three straight at the TOC, matching Earl Anthony as the only bowlers in PBA history to win the same major three times in a row. History in Connecticut today! It's, it's hard to think about it. Uh, you know, Earl's achievements were unbelievable. You know, he was my idol growing up, and he'd won the PBA National, you know, three, three, three straight times in a row. I think he won it five or six times. So just, you know, there's no comparing anybody to Earl, and, uh, but it, it was just phenomenal. You know, it's just hard to, hard to believe when I look back at it that, that I won that event three times. It's not hard for the rest of the bowling world to believe. Jason Couch is known as a hard worker with a game that at times seems unstoppable. I think the thing that makes Jason so good is, uh, one, the fact that he has that will to win. Okay, He's going to go out there and he is going to figure out a way to beat you senseless with his bowling ball. The second thing is the fact of how powerful his ball is. You know, and I, and I know we've got a lot of power in today's game with players that have come out on tour over the last 10 years. But when you look at Jason Couch, when he came out in the early 90s, uh, his ball definitely could do a lot of talking. The thing that, that uh, I'll remember most about Jason Couch was his tenacity on the lanes. And that's something that's kind of hard to teach people. You know, he had, he had a lot of guts and he had a lot of grit. And uh, because of that came a lot of glory. 16 titles, four of the majors, and now with the Hall of Fame next on the agenda, Jason looks back at his career with a lot to be thankful for. To be a USBC member and to finally get in the Hall of Fame is, is just a complete honor. I see a lot of hard work paying off, and I see myself being very fortunate, especially with the people behind me. If it wasn't the people behind me, the support group, whether it be my wife, my kids, my parents, uh, Eb and I, you know, uh, Dale Ballard, I could name a ton of ball reps I've worked with, you know, they did such a great job and I just, I feel fortunate to get where I have.